So I went off and started asking the question, how do the leaders of successful companies think? And what I found is that this was the characteristic that highly successful leaders exhibited. Uh, and it was something that F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote about in 1948, the great American uh, novelist. He said, the test of a first-rate intelligence ability to hold two opposing ideas in mind at the same time and still retain the ability to function, uh, which I love as a quote. And it, I didn't even discover the next line until I actually went and, and went to the source material to, to reread it and got this one should, for example, be able to see that things are hopeless, yet be determined to make them otherwise. It, it does beg the question, why doesn't everybody do this all the time? And the reason has to do, I've, I've come to believe, the reason has to do with how we observe and model the world, right? So what we do, the, the mind, and I, and, and I was going to say human mind, but it's actually animals do this too. The mind works in the following way. It observes the thing on the left, and creates a model of it, the thing on the right. So integrative thinking, what I said is the ability, the ability to face constructively the tension of opposing models and instead of choosing one at the expense of the other, to generate a creative resolution of the tension in the form of a new model that contains elements of the individual models but is superior to each. Now, the thing that you could have knocked me over with a feather on is this in the form of a new model that contains elements of the individual models but is superior to each. I was stunned. So all the people I interviewed for the book and everybody since has not created a breakthrough idea with what tool. What tool do we say you need to use to create a new, uh, a new idea, right? A blank sheet of paper. Uh, like I understand why the theory is that. It sounds good, right? You're going to be unconstrained and anything is game. It's a cool idea that doesn't happen, or at least from, I can't find it. I literally, I literally can't. All the innovations contain elements of the individual models so I change completely the way I try to innovate and do anything new. I never start with a blank sheet of paper. I start with the existing models and say, what can we learn from the conflicts between them? A different objective, rather than trading off, going along the trade-off line between A and B, so that what do you end up with? You know, consensus. Why does everybody hate the word consensus? It's because it's that. It's neither and nothing better. You want to be aiming for what you really need, something that's better than on the trade-off line between A and B. So problems that appear in Super Bowl, that appear to have opposing answers that are in irreconcilable, incommensurable, are not. They are just that way because of the way we model. And we can teach five-year-olds. 10-year-olds, 15-year-olds. It's harder to teach MBAs, but we can do that too. <laughs>